I'm going to show you all how to sharpen a blurry image in Photoshop with this quick and simple trick. Now, the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and get yourself two more copies of your image and you want to hide the first one. We're going to keep it as a backup and while selecting the top one, you want to go to filter, down to other and get yourself a high pass filter. Now in here, depending on how aggressive you want the sharpness to be, whether it's on a low radius or on a high radius, you will adjust it in here. And for this image, I would say seven is good. We don't want to go too high or too low. Once you're happy with it, we also need to make sure that this layer is completely black and white. We don't need this extra color right here. So to fix this, we can press Control, Shift, and U. This will set it to black and white. And now if we set this layer to linear light near the bottom right here, you can see this has now sharpened this image. However, since this image is quite blurry in general, you may or may not need to duplicate this two more times. So for me, it's more appropriate to duplicate it. We're going to select them all and you want to group them together. We're just going to call this one sharpness. Now that we've got ourselves this layer, we're also going to select the subject. And then while selecting this group, we want to mask out the person. So it only affects this person right here. Now, as you can see at the moment, it is way too aggressive. So what we need to do is we need to also create a sub group in here. We're going to call this one sharpness fix. And then in here, you want to also get yourself a mask and then invert this mask. While selecting the brush tool, you can set the opacity to around, let's say 35. While selecting a white color, you want to apply it onto your image and you want to focus on the main details. This allows you to apply however much sharpness you want it to have. So we definitely need to focus on the beard area as well. The mouth. For the neck area, we're going to lower this to 22 and also apply it onto here. For everything else, we need it to be nice and sharp, especially the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and everything else. Now that we've got it sharpened, the only downside to this now is, as you can see, we have a lot of grain right here. So to eliminate this grain, what we need to do is we need to select both of these layers. You want to duplicate it and convert this into a smart object. I always like to back everything up so I can always go back a step if I need to. With this one right here, what we're going to do is we're just going to go to filter and then go down to camera raw filter. Now in here, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the grain by scrolling down to the bottom. You want to open up detail and apply however much noise reduction you need on your image. Now for this one, we need a lot. So I'm going to set it all the way to 100. And as you can see, it's definitely looking a lot better now compared to before and after. You then want to press OK. And the very final step that I like to do, and this is optional, I like to go to Filter, down to Neural Filters. And for me, I like to apply a filter called JPEG Artifacts Removal. What this will do is if you enable this, this will remove the large pixelation. This can happen with JPEG compressions. And as you can see, we have a lot of large pixels everywhere. And there we go. As you can see, the artifacts have now been removed and everything looks smoother now. You can see the before and after they are less visible now. We're going to set this to new layer mask and then press OK. And there we go. As you can see, we have before and after. It's definitely looking a lot sharper.